Hello, hello, and welcome, or welcome back to The Winning Wallet. My name is Al, and on this channel, we know it's never too early and never too late to start taking good care of our finances. Here on this channel, you will find all fun things related to budgeting, cash stuffing, savings challenges that we're doing today with a little bit of wisdom thrown in from time to time. If you are new here, please say hello down below. I do have some new subscribers. I would love to meet you and wish you a happy day today. I do thank you so much for tuning in. Now, let's get into the money. Sundays are the perfect time for savings challenges, you guys, and it's also the perfect time for a little bit of self-care. So let me know down below um, what your plans are for the day. My Sundays are usually spent catching up on chores, doing laundry, cleaning house, uh, taking my Miss Lucy girl out to the dog park, things like that, and of course, savings challenges. I am doing things a little bit differently this week, you guys. I may do it different um, from here on out, but I wanted to go ahead and let you know that for this particular binder, this is my original savings binder, um, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. The reason I wanted to do things differently Differently, you guys for this part of the savings challenges is because these videos can get so long time is precious I appreciate you spending even just a few minutes with me but in order to make more time for the fun challenges using cards and rolling dice and playing games from here on you guys I am going to just go ahead and stuff the money ahead of time show you the tracker and then we will count it together and let that be it for this original savings binder at least for now so in acorn my squirrel away we should have two hundred and seventy dollars let's go ahead and double check that 100 200 in savings 20 30 40 50 65 and 70 so we are in good shape there next is going to be the 50 envelope challenge that challenge should have three hundred and fifty dollars let's count this and make sure we are on target one, two, three, 20, 30, 40, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50. Excellent, so 350 there. And I am coloring in the trackers as we go from week to week also. Let's undo that dollar, get it all nice and neat. And next is going to be the 30 day challenge. And in that we should have $165. One hundred twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, five. So far, my math is right on target, you guys, and that's not easy. <laughs> I'm a reading teacher, not a math teacher, so oh my goodness, numbers and money, numbers and money. Next is the one thousand dollar emergency payback. So one hundred and fifty dollars here, fifty one, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Next is going to be the five hundred dollar savings challenge. And in that, we should have 250. One, two, 20, 30, 40, 550. I'm telling you, you guys, my shopping has changed drastically in three months and I could not be more pleased instead all of my money is being socked away for savings next is going to be the 52 week challenge and as a total we should have 360 one two three hundred already in savings 20 30 40 5 50 5 6 7 8 9 and 60. And we have one more challenge in this binder. It is the $5 challenge. I'm just taking this little one, the five. Oh, get in there, get in there. Okay, there we go. Um, I am taking the $5 challenge just as it comes, five or $10 a week. And in the $5 challenge, we should have $95 total. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right on target. You guys, I know I've said it before, but money in envelopes feels amazing. 
It truly is amazing. So there you have it for my original savings binder. Go ahead and put these back. We will update them again next week. I will count with you each week, but uh, just to make extra time for my other challenges, I wanted to go ahead and do the stuffing and the calculating ahead of time. And sometimes I come across money that is unusual or special in some way. So I do have a category in this binder simply for special money. And the first thing I wanted to show you were these beautiful $1 bills. Look at how crisp and clean they are, and they are nearly sequential. This is rare to find. They're not exact, but you guys are close enough for me to consider them special. They're going to go right into my special envelope. Next, take a look at the serial number. Let me know down below if you recognize why, why I might consider this a special dollar. Just take a look at those numbers. Do you see anything that might catch your attention? Leave me a comment down below. And look at this one. Ooh, goodness. Now, I don't believe in, you know, spooky stuff necessarily, but I do have another $666. So now I'm taking this one out of rotation, putting it in the envelope, and I just, you know, just to be on the safe side. I don't want to have any you know, weird mojo floating around. So this one's going to go away. And then we do have four L bucks. I am collecting L bucks also. One, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and put these away. Here is my envelope for my special money. We'll move the L bucks up here. I don't want to get them mixed in. I say I don't believe in that spooky mojo, but you know, who who's to say for real? Who's to say? Oh, I can't say that it's real or not real. I, I don't have any idea. So there we go. Special bills, and then let's find my L buck envelope. There it is. I'm not counting this, just adding the four right to it, letting it accumulate over time. And now, these are the regular challenges. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have left to stuff. So let's count our money. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60. So $60 in fives. And then in ones, we have a ton of ones to use. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1 and 2. All right, and here we go. So last week, I scratched off this 14. You know I'm a teacher, don't have a lot of money, so we are going to add the one and the four today and stuff a $5 bill. And then we will scratch um, to see what we're going to save for next week. And actually, if possible, I'm gonna go ahead and scratch two. I only have one more week of stuffing for January, so this one needs to be done. Let's take a look. A seven, okay, that's definitely workable. Let's do this next one. Oh dear, okay, there's no way, you guys. There's just no way. $32. If I stuff $32 in this particular challenge, that, that's really all I would have. Oh gosh, um, let's do one more. And 14, okay. So sorry about the shaking, you guys, that's awful. So I will go ahead and add these all together. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So seventeen dollars for next week, and then um, I will scratch the last two next week and see what we can do. I I just can't. I can't, you guys. It makes me sad, but it is reality, right? It it just is what it is. So last week um, with this challenge, I scratched the twelve and adding these two together, a one and a two gives us three. So we will stuff $3 here and we will scratch off another envelope for next week. That's more my style. Even 12 is high for me, you guys. So let's put this in here, nice and safe and sound. Put it in the back. 
and let's scratch off a green one. I love green. <laughs> All right, and, oh, excellent. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a three, but it's an eight. Okay, well, that's all right. We can do that for next week. Okay, so next week, we will be stuffing $8 in this particular challenge, mini envelope challenge. Next is a birthday challenge. Let me move my binder to the side so that we can play this game. If you do not know Rebecca of Here to Their Journey, please check her out. I will put her... Um, YouTube channel on the screen here. She's a delight. She's wonderful. She's calming. She just works so hard. She's also a teacher. I know how hard she must be working. Oh, it's not an easy job, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to roll four dice just because I want to move through the board. Let's see what we get. Five, nine, 13, and three is... Is that right? 16. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16. There's a reason I don't teach math, y'all. There is a reason. So let's start here. And was it 13? I don't even remember. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16. Oh my goodness, I need more coffee. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We'll go ahead and put a circle around there. Each little pebble, each stone here is $1, and I am doing $5 if I land on a person. She created this birthday challenge. Her birthday um, was in January recently, and she put content creators on this challenge, and there I am, which is just so fun. All right, let's see if I can keep the numbers straight. So we have three threes for nine, and then 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we're gonna leave it there and add in $2 to the birthday challenge for Rebecca. All right. Next is going to be the music challenge, and I am just adding a few dollars here and there to these challenges. Music today is going to get $2. I went ahead and colored in the note here, and let's see what we have. So in music challenges, let me move that a little bit forward. We have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, making some progress. Next is take the trip. It's a vacation challenge. That challenge today will be getting three ones. And I colored in another flower. Let's see what we have in the, oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> I'm always surprised when I pull out a $20 bill. I'm like, oh, where did that come from? We have 20, one, two, three. And next is going to be Wild Thing. I did not stuff these envelopes last week, so I am today. Wild Thing will be getting a $5 bill today. And so we have five, six, seven, and eight in Wild Thing. Next is our Groovy Challenge. And that will be getting five also today. <clears throat> a little bit more simply because I did not stuff them last week. So in Groovy, we have five, six, seven, and eight. The next one is for September and October. So we're not doing anything there. And we all did um, already stuff the special envelope. So that is going to take care of my second savings binder for today. This Acorn challenge is one of the challenges you saw in the first original savings binder. So if you take a look, we are making some progress here. It might take me the entire year to get through that, but that's okay. And then next, we are going to do our coffee cash. Coffee cash also comes from two sister bees, and I went ahead and colored in a mocha and a coffee today for a total of $5. I love coffee. I love this tracker. I might love this tracker more than coffee. So let's go ahead and stuff $5 today and we will see what we have 
total here going for our coffee cash. 10, 15, 20, and 21. So that one is now done. And next is going to be place your bets. And this is a fun one, you guys, because it does involve playing cards. Let's go ahead and flip some cards and see what we're going to be saving in this challenge today. We have enough cash, you guys, that I think we can pull a few cards. The clubs are worth $3. Diamonds are worth $2. Spade for one and a heart for five. So here we go. A king of heart. Okay. Or spade, not a heart. So face cards, you actually save double. So that's going to be $2. And I did forget to do this one time. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody had to remind me that face cards were double. So we have $2 there. Oh boy. Okay. Maybe I should shuffle these again. Another face card for spades. So another $2. Let's pull another card. Oh my God. You got, okay. I know I shuffled these. Didn't you see me shuffle these? That is so weird. Another face card for spades. That's another $2. And you know what? I'm going to shuffle them again. That's weirding me out. Maybe I had put them in order and when I shuffled them, <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't get all the way down. I don't know. I don't know, but that's a little creepy. Okay, next card, a three of spades. So I guess today is the day for spades. And let's just do one more and a three of hearts for $5. Okay, so we are going to end it there for this particular challenge and adding to it today, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, that's, that's quite a bit. That's good though. Let it add up. Let it add up. That's the name of the game. So 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Excellent. If you are still with me here at this point, down below, leave me a bear emoji. This is my absolute favorite uh, savings challenge from Two Sister Bees. It is simply because the game board is just the most adorable thing. I roll the dice, we move through the board, we collect our money. Leave me a bear down below if you have made it this far to the Tiki Bears. Rolling the dice, we have 2, 8, 10, and 13. Let's do, what color haven't we used yet? How about a nice vibrant orange? So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 for $2. We can do it. Next, five, nine, and 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, I skipped that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, those fives, you guys. Eek. Okay, we'll do at least one more, maybe two more since it's my favorite. All right, so we have two, eight, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, two dollars. We can do it. And then next, one more. Four, seven, ten, and fifteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. The coconuts. You save any amount, so I am going to put in another $2. Okay, let's see what we're adding here today. Let's pull out the cash that was already there. You can tell um, this challenge actually has the most money <laughs> because I love it the most. Okay. And all together in Tiki Bears. We have 20, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, and 3. Making excellent progress with this one. Okay, and let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This next game is also a dice game where you roll the dice and then you alternate the high and low numbers. 
So for today, save would be getting the higher amount to start us off. So we have a six and a two. So five and six going into save, and then two, four, spend. Now the save would get the lower amount, so let's go ahead. We have five and four, so the four would go here, and then the five here for spend. So save, getting four, one, two, three, four, and then spend getting the five and i'll double check and make sure i have all of that correct and i think we are going to leave it there for save and spend moving on to the next challenge and last but certainly not least we have the 100 envelope savings challenge box we don't have a ton of money left but let's see if we can do three envelopes here today 5 10 15 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 30 1 and 2 so 32 dollars let's see what we're going to do today and for this i'm just going to be going into my box of random numbers these are low denominations so that i know they are workable for my budget and the first number will be six so let's put six dollars into envelope number 36 and then we will pull at least one or two more so there we go that one is done and another random let's throw them all around okay let's go way under here we're gonna leave those two out there for now okay a four we can certainly do that one two three four notice how quiet it is Capone is still sleeping. Lucy is resting. Oh my goodness. It's so quiet. <laughs> Let's put those back. Stir these up and see what we're going to get. Okay. Three. So we can do three dollars. One, two, three. And because we have money left over, we're just going to keep going. Let's keep going. Why not, right? We have it. Let's stuff it and let's save it. Next, we'll just pull this purple one. Three dollars. Do I have three? One, two, three. I do. One, two, three for envelope number 39. What are your favorite challenges? This is one of my favorites because I'm just in love with these envelopes. They are just so cute, colorful, pretty, vibrant. I love stuffing them. I love the box. I love pulling out the envelopes. I love putting them back. So this is one of my favorites for sure. You know what we're gonna do? I think we're gonna do a scratch off for maybe the last one. I did buy this scratch off board um, a few months ago, I think from Savvy Budgets and because the numbers are so big, um, I've had a hard time, but when I just add the numbers together, I can certainly save six or five or six or five. So that is how I've been doing that. Let's go ahead and we will roll the dice, but we're gonna start here and move through the board. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So guys, savings challenges can, I don't know, they can be adjusted. They can be modified so that you can have fun, so that it can work for you. So we got a three and a one. So that would be four, but I don't have any fours left. So we're going to go ahead and, I don't know, let's put this to the side and maybe I can remember that there's one extra dollar here. Let's roll the dice. And eight and 12 and 17. 17, one, two, three. Let's move these off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Bless you, Lucy. Lucy girl just sneezed. Oh gosh, look at this number. So 21, that's going to be a three. So four and three 
is seven. So I'm still missing, oh guys, this is working out kind of wonky. Four and three is seven. You know what, I'm gonna put this back and I'm gonna scratch one or two more and see how close we can get to 16 since that's what we have left. Let's do another one. Thank you for your patience as we work this out. Three, eight, and 14. Let me see, let me double check. 11, 12, 13, 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Look at that number. Oh my God, 49. So let's add this up, you guys, and see where we're at. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and that's going to be 20, just one second. So you guys, all together, adding these together, it would be $20, and I don't have 20 here. I only have 16, so I will make a note that I owe this box $4. I am going to go ahead and, oh, I guess I'll put all this money in one envelope. This didn't work out exactly how I was thinking that it would. That's okay, you guys. It's all going to the same place. So adding 16 to envelope number 40, and I will make a note that $4 needs to go back in to the next envelope for next week. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the envelope. So, Envelope number 41 will get $4 next week as an IOU. My first IOU, you guys. <laughs> Great. So what a fun video, except for the very end of it. And you know, that's okay, guys. Life isn't always going to balance out 100%. So you guys... I'm wishing you a beautiful day. It is Sunday. Sunday is a great day for self-care, and we know self-care isn't selfish. Please go ahead, do all the youtube -y things if you would. Give this video a thumbs up, even though it got a little messy. Um, if you would like to subscribe, there's a blue button way over in the corner. I'd love to have you part of the winning wallet where we know it is never too early and never too late to start taking care of our finances. And with that, I'm wishing you a beautiful day and bye for now.